So somehow, I was about to leave. I am in the middle of leaving. It's not, it's almost 10 o'clock. So I got up naturally at 7 o'clock, I guess because of the uh, sunrise or whatever. And <clears throat> I, I have this Fiverr project I'm working on. It's a, it's a blog, and it went pretty well yesterday. I think I may have mentioned that, I don't know, probably not. Um, although it was scary to me because it's not my blog, I can't use it, and I'm afraid of judgment and people not liking it, and it really stifles me and get, it gets me very anxious. And but I managed to do 75% of it, and then I guess it's my need to, for approval that I need to, you know, send it to him and say, okay, this is what I have left, what do you, you know, and I hate that, and anyway, so he wrote me back, and it was, there were, you know, decent, it was, it, it's, he mentioned what he wanted, and he put notes into the um, the document, and some things I don't know how to do, like notes and word and all that. But I figured it out. But all those things kind of freak me out a bit because there's a time limit. And okay, I know I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna I have some errands to do. I gotta buy some uh, some more dishwashing liquid and clean up a little bit more. I just did my bed. That tied on to. Um, having to go to the library, because the library is not open on Mondays, which is, well, we're Tuesday, so it doesn't matter. Go there and finish the project and send it. I have to go to the gym and take some pictures of myself that he requested. And it puts the pressure on me. It's not even a big thing. And um, why do I care so much, you know what I mean, and I, it's, I talked about this with, uh, you know, my therapist too, it's like, uh, it's a big issue for me, and it puts a lot of stress on me, but, so then it's like, that, that kind of got my anxiety going, and it's like, okay, but I got the, I know I got the library that I have to go to, so I can't think about that pro, that thing until then. Because if, if, if one blog, which is 65 Canadian, takes me the whole day to think about it in hours, it's like, that's not good. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be like that. So, that's why I did I said it for this evening. I know I have to take a few pictures. I wrote some notes. Um, maybe get someone to take it, and if not, um, just take the phone and film myself and then take a screenshot. One of those two is what I'll do today at the gym. I mean, I know what to do. It just makes me very anxious. Um, cause I guess cause I don't want to be rejected and I mean, basically, I mean, if he doesn't like it, I'll just use the blog for myself, you know, and put it on my website. And I can't see that. It feels like I'm failing and possibly that, like, I want to create this air of being an expert. I mean, I've been in the industry long enough, and but there's certain things that I'm really, I have difficulty with. And even with the Fiverr application, um, he requested a change. So I didn't even tell him that it's like new to me, relatively new, because I don't get a lot of demands. And if I do get a few demands, they're custom orders. And the last custom order I had took me so long to do, and I don't even know if I'm getting paid for it. Um, so it's a learning process. But... It just gets me very anxious, and it shouldn't. Or at least, hopefully, the more I get do this, the, the less anxious I'll get. But it really throws me for a loop. It's like in my head, I'm like, okay, this is my last chance. I gotta, you know, 
But then again, I kind of set myself up for failure by procrastinating and stuff. But I haven't procrastinated that much, I don't think. So I don't have, as you can see, I don't have this really well thought out. It's just, I was about to leave and then I'm like, okay, this, the thought came to my head, the feeling, and I want to get it down. And I know I got some more cleaning to do. Got to clean the, you know, the bathtub is a muck and the toilet is disgusting. Um, clean it up. If no one's here, I don't even give a crap about the toilet. It's just like, it could be any color, you know. Um, that's kind of how I let myself go. So it helps me to know that someone's coming tomorrow. But that's the problem, that it's always based on other people, based on the guy I'm writing the blog for, if he's going to like it based on cleaning my, the place because someone else, I don't want to, someone else to think too badly, even though it, it's a gym, so it kind of gives a little leeway that it could be messy because I'm not pristine uh, in that sense. I don't like things that are delicate around my place. I like my place to look lived in because it's less pressure on me, but still, um, the basics, and that that's my issue, like just... I guess, pretending to not care what people think, but I do care what people think, and that, um, who I led into my circle, and that, and that, that really gets me anxious. Um, but, for the blog, I wrote, I, mess, I didn't message the guy yesterday, I saw the, the message yesterday, I let it go, but I messaged it this morning, I, and I looked through everything that he said to look through. And I told him I will do it this, this afternoon, this evening, when I get home, and I will take the pictures with my phone. Like, I tried to be clear, and it's hard for me to be clear like that. Because I'm afraid he's going to say something like, why are you taking phone pictures? Why don't you get, you know what I mean? And it's like, so I kind of avoid bring up the confrontation like that, but I, I think I did an okay job with that. That's another issue, the confrontation, the, the setting up the boundaries, the... And he actually said, so, he, he said something in his message, if you could, he's, he says, like I said, it was 1300 words, 1359, because I had stuff in red that I wanted to like, you know, him to go over and say, okay, should we add this, should I elaborate on this? And he writes back and he says, it's 1100 without the red writing. Um, if you could bring it up to 1500, he either said now or today. Like he gave a clear, and that bothered me, it put pressure on me, but how can he do that? He's not being mean. You know, he's just saying that's what he wants, and it's, it's supposed to be a quick thing. It's a blog, it's not, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, although it took me a couple days to do it, but like just because I need to, I do a bit. Then I mull it over, and, and if I have several blogs at the same time, I guess I'll do the same thing. You know, you need to let your subconscious work. But saying those boundaries, and he was saying the boundaries, and it's like, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I can't do it. So, um, that's it. I'm going to leave. I'm just going to write a note as to what this is called, the title. And I will talk to you later.